Okay, let me. I'm recording this so we can discuss uh, your options. You currently have a cost basis of two twelve oh six in OIH. You're getting pretty. The fact that you're down to twenty three days. I usually roll these things at about twenty one days. You're getting a little late for August, but uh, as an example, what I do is if I'm long a stock, I sell between the thirty and forty delta each month. So, you know, pick a number, so say 37, you would pick up $5.20. So that would reduce your cost basis down to, what, about 207 something like that. So you could do that. That's option number one. If you want to be a little more aggressive, you get less premium. But as a repair strategy, you could either do it for August or September. First of all, let's look and see what the September, and you can make a, a judgment on that. Say you sell the 205 for September, you, you would pick up $8.20, or about $8. So now your cost basis is down to 204. You're going to get called away at 205, so you're going to make a, you know, you're going to make a profit on that. So that's not too bad. If you want to be more aggressive, uh, one way to do it and keep, uh, obviously, if you sell a, a, a call against it, you, you've got it covered, so you don't have any downside, uh, or you don't have any, uh, you know, risk, obviously, if it keeps going lower, you've got downside risk. But, you know, right now you could sell the 205 call for 8 bucks, lower your cost basis from 212 down to 204 and if you get called away, you're going to make a profit. I mean, that's not a bad scenario in the situation that you have. The other thing you can do is, like I said, is a ratio spread, which some people call a stock repair strategy. I like to take a look at about what the expected move is at 25 bucks. In your case, you're above that. I might not worry. See, that would give me about 215. So let, let's see here. I would probably I would probably sell. Let's see if we could still sell the 205 twice for 790. And yeah, let me and I and I would so if I sell, and we can move, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we I can move these things around. Let's let's just keep the numbers the same. Let's let's say we buy the two hundred, sell the two hundred five. Now we're gonna uh, because we've got two of them, we're still gonna get six dollars and forty five cents. So you're gonna reduce your cost basis from two twelve down to what about two hundred five fifty five something like that. I'm doing it in my head, but here's the kicker. If this thing goes up to 205, you're going to pick up $5 for for this 200 205. So at 205, you're going to be getting $11 for this. So you're going to get called away at $11 with and your cost basis is going to be 200. That's why they call it a re, uh, a repair strategy. I like to do them for a credit. I mean, you can stretch this thing out like that at a 455 credit. If OIH gets above 195, each you know this thing be, these come become worth ten dollars. Uh, so that that to me, I prefer to do that when I'm in a situation where I'm slightly underwater on the uh, on the cost basis. It just gives me a more aggressive way to recover. So, I mean, let's let's go through the two scenarios. You sell, you just do the simple covered call. You sell this and you pick up. Let's just say eight bucks. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep the math simple. So we're gonna. I'm gonna write that down. We're gonna get eight dollars for that. You're gonna reduce your your two twelve down to two o four. You're gonna get called away at two o. Let's just say this thing goes to the moon. You get called away at two o five. You're gonna make a buck a share. So you're gonna make three hundred dollars on the transaction. You have three hundred shares. Now, if you use a ratio spread where you buy the two hundred but you sell two of the 205s, now you're getting, let's just say we're getting 650 again to make the math easy. So 650, so you're, you're collecting that right when you, do, when you do this transaction. So your 212 minus your 650 becomes what, 20550? So now your cost basis is 20550. If you get called away, you say, yeah, but I'm losing 50 cents. But, but what you have to keep in mind, you're going to make $5 on this call spread. So you're going to get $5 plus your six, plus we said 650. 
So we're going to get 1150 if we get called away at 205. You're at 212 right now, less 1150. You're going to be like at $200.50. So you're going to make, a, you know, you're going to, that improves your profitability. Uh, of course, that's again if it, if you get called away. Does that make sense? Am I explaining myself uh, uh, properly? Okay. So that that's really, and again, you can, these ratio spreads, and, and I'm only suggesting that you keep them one by two. Now, I would do it three times. I would, I would sell six of these, and I would buy two of these, whatever ratio you're in. But I would keep the ratio one by two. So now in that transaction, you know, you're picking up, you know, what about uh, times three, almost 2000 $2, bucks. And that way, and, and again, you can, you can spread this. I like to use, I like to be around the expected move. And let's see, but 25 off, of, it gets me to 206. Well, yeah, that's about where I want to be. So, but there, there's there's no right or wrong answer. I mean, you can be as aggressive as you want, but what I'm trying to do is keep in mind that if this thing, if it goes above my short call, I'm going to make a profit in this case on the trade. Now, uh, let's look at GDXJ, or GDX, not J, you don't have the minor. GDX, uh, your cost basis is 35.79, so you're not in bad shape there. If you went to September... And you can do this for August. You won't be as much money. Let's look at September. And let, again, let's try to go around. The expected move is two and a half. It's eh, going to get you to, what, 36, 20 or something like that. What is the, let's see what the, um, see the, uh, I would probably, probably sell. There's not as much money in that GDX. Uh, if I sold that, I'm, if I sold the, you know, 30 to 30 to 40 delta. So I'd be selling the 35 or 36 uh, option. Uh, pick up 60 cents. That's going to reduce your cost basis down to about 35.20. Uh, so you're going to make a little bit of money if you ca get called away there, which is fine. I mean, that's I would sell these every month. I if I stay in a covered call, I sell between the 30 and the 40 every month on the on the front month. Because uh, I want to collect that money and reduce the cost basis. And here's some of the people will say, well, that's really dumb. You're giving up your upside. Yes, I am giving up my upside. But when you buy, from the way I feel about probabilities, the way I approach it, when I buy a stock, it's a 50-50 shot whether it's going to go up or down. I have no clue what it's going to do. I'm willing to sell, in this case, a 36 call because I've only got a 29% chance, about 30% chance, that it's going to get called away. At. So if I'm going to take a 50-50 shot on a stock, why wouldn't I not take a 70% probability of success on selling the short call? That means, you know, basically, uh, you know, one out of three times you're going to you get called away. Now, to the, on the ratio spread side, let's see if we could do anything. Again, you want to do two of these. Well, in your case, it's well, let's just do the two, uh, and then you want to buy one of those. Let's like, uh, let me, I got to reduce that. In this scenario, you're picking up thirty-one cents, so your cost basis goes from thirty-five seventy-nine. It's immediate, just like selling the cover call. It's it's reduced by thirty-one cents. You're going to go down to about thirty-four or thirty-five forty-eight, something like that. If you get caught, if this thing goes to the moon, which I don't expect it will, but if it goes to the moon and you get called away at 36, you're going to you're going to get thirty six dollars a share. Plus, you're going to get an extra dollar for this call spread, which is covered because you've you, you've got the, the, uh, the spread there. So you're going to get an extra dollar. So you're going to you're going to basically get a dollar thirty one. Uh, and take that off of your cost basis of thirty five seventy nine. Let's just do the math here. One thirty one is thirty four forty thirty four forty eight, I believe, something like that. And you're getting thirty six bucks for it, so you're making about a dollar fifty two a share. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna do August, yeah. Uh, here, let's go to let's uh, let's look at August. If you, I was looking at September because of the i got time on my hands, but if you want to do August, I would kind of go out to the, uh, you're going to probably have to be a little closer, Yannick. You're probably going to have to sell the 35 cause you, and and buy the 34. Let's see if that works out for you. 
See, that only gives you a seven cent credit because you're so close. You've only got 23 days left. Yeah, I would do September. I mean, and then forget about it. The only, the only, you know, I would buy a 35. I would sell two 36s unless you want to be more aggressive than that. Then you're going to get a 32 cent credit. Let's see if you go down to 34. That's a nine cent debit. I don't like. So I, I want to get I want to collect a credit because I want to be in a position that if the stock goes down, at least I've got some credit to reduce my cost basis. Now, you might want to take that credit, you know, and spend some down here and buy a long put. But that's up to you. Yeah, I, I would go with September because, uh, you know, most of the juice is out uh, now on OIH. Let me get that back to OIH. See, you got a 26 IV rank, so you're, you get a little more juice there. And I was just pulling, I was, uh, you know, the fact that you're not too much underwater, that's why, and, and this is about the expected move, you know, I would I would either do the, you know, I would probably, this is probably the one I'd do. Because this is pretty nice. You make five bucks on a call spread plus the 675. You know, if you wouldn't, if you even went to 210, you know, if you, if you want to be a little more, um, optimistic on the stock you could go to there you know go and you know do the 205 210 or the or the 200 210 the mass all the same i like that one you know i like i like selling two of the 205s and buying one of the 200s get you're going to get somewhere around you know 675 or something like that you're going to immediately reduce the cost basis on your uh, oih down to uh uh let's see what do we say 660 and your 212 down to about or 206 so that way that way you got a shot uh well no i would do uh, i would do uh for 300 shares i would do this three times so that would be six of the short i would do six of the short calls and i would do three of the long ones now you're still 100 percent covered yeah six times three that's exactly right that's how i would do it and and again there's no really wrong answer in this stuff but you know, I like, you know, I'm a probability guy to guy. That's what I like to do. You know, that way, if it, let's just say the OIH stays here. Yeah, you, well, you could do that. I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't like to micromanage them like that. I make a decision typically, and, and I'm just going to go with it. Because in this case, I mean, I'm getting seven almost $7. Let's just say this thing doesn't go up. You're, you, you've reduced your cost basis by $7. With still, you got this upside. Then let's just say it does, you know, it starts to go up. You can always come in here once there's, you know, once that extrinsic value I talked about earlier in here, once that extrinsic value comes in, then you can come in here and sell this. You can buy two, of, you can roll and roll this out to the next month. And let's go to October. And we're going to uh, buy that, sell that, and... Uh, I gotta do. Let's see. I gotta turn. I gotta turn off September. Okay, and then I go to October. You can pick up another four or five bucks. You know, I don't want to look at this thing every single day. I and I wouldn't do anything on the trade until it breached that two o five. The way I would. That that's the way I would approach it. I like to keep it mechanical. I don't want to think about it. You know and. Uh, the only thing I may do is if I want to spend a little bit of that money to buy a put to protect my downside. But the puts are pretty expensive, you know. So if you're at least somewhat bullish on OIH, you know, and you know what, you've only got a what do we say? Uh, in, uh, let's go back to September. You've only got a um, about a, a today. This is a dynamic number, but you've only got a 34 percent chance about of being called away. So. Uh, and remember, you got six dollars for it, six or seven dollars. That gets you up to almost two sixteen. So, if this thing got go got on a roll and got going, then you know I would look to you know then uh, and it breached that two o five, then I would look to maybe roll out. We could talk about that then. So, but yeah, you got the odds. Yeah, yeah. I never want to own a stock without selling uh, a call against it be, uh, or something against it because I want to reduce the cost basis. You know, sometimes I'll sell a strangle. You know, I may come up here and I might sell a, a strangle down here and just to just to juice it up more. I mean, you've already got 300 shares. If if I had 100 shares, you know, I might 
I might do that, and then I might come down and sell, you know, a strangle, you know, probably way down here where I would, here I could sell, you know, around the 160 area, pick up another $3 a contract and say, okay, if it goes that low, I'm, you know, I'm going to buy another 100 shares, but at least that juices, you know, gives, reduces my cost. If it doesn't go down that low, you know, I reduce my cost basis another three bucks, but that's another conversation. That's, that's why I like to, you know, uh, since I'm only trading one lots in here, if I trade 100 shares worth of stock, uh, like I got this little, this one, I got a, if this one, I got a, I got a long $8 put, I'm, I'm protected to the downside on this thing. So, but if this goes away, what I may do next month is sell a call and sell a put, a covered strangle, but that's not the point of this call. Okay, does that help a